Hey guys, Buckskin Dave here. I know I haven't posted in a while, but what I thought I'd do is I've been taking video <coughs> uh, all along. So I thought I'd make a video of little bits and pieces for the last month or so, a couple of months that I haven't posted. I'm in my summer gopher trapping fields now, or well, not gopher, squirrels. And uh, so grab you a cup of coffee, come on along and we'll go back in time a few months and see what we've been doing. Anyway, I'm going to continue working on this for a while because the weather's for shit outside. So, rather than go outside and fight that, oops, I'll work in the shop. I'm a measure it three times, cut it once kind of guy. Or actually cut it right kind of guy. Uh, I'm getting close. I got to uh, get the 750 and I'm at 860, so we're getting close. That's a pretty good size set of tracks right there. Go around. And the wind blows, but it looks like they go through the field there. Through the fence there. go look at the card. I'll bet you right now it's mostly eagles. <laughs> eagles, ravens, and maggies. Otherwise this thing will have a million pictures on it. Bring some Windex next time to clean the bird shit off of this thing. Yeah. Bird shit's like cement. I'm gonna put, see there's those tracks that go over there. You can't tell what they are because they're blown in and they're probably deer but I can't tell where they jumped over the fence. Okay. A couple of days ago, this snow was dry, fluffy, and easy to drive in. Now it's got a little wet and moisture. There's some more tracks there. They look like, look like deer tracks. Yeah, it's pretty slippery. So here we go. It's kind of like driving a big snowmobile with a steering wheel. The shit. Anyway, we've got another set up the road here. We'll go check it. I just don't think the wolves are coming in here. The elk were in here day before yesterday. So, I don't know if they're still around or not. I haven't, I haven't been out looking around lately. So, Looks like we got a coyote today. He actually looks like a pretty good colored dog, although it is getting towards the end of January, so we'll have to see what he looks like. Um, uh, Sarah and I were taking some pictures. I wrote an article for the Trapper magazine on non-target catches and releasing non-target catches, and 
you guys remember we made our board and so we're getting a picture of the board the if any trapper guys out there if you don't get the trapper that's a good magazine a lot of good trappers write uh, articles in there and could help give you ideas and how to improve your trap line this is one of them for instance um, anyway I write a few articles for them now and then so something to get into if you if you think about it I think you can just go on the internet to their website and you can order it right off of there well I'm gonna try to do this one here <laughs> I forgot to put the little base wad in there um, basically I want to see what the velocity is anyway and, uh, and we'll go from there and uh, we'll see if everything functions right so I'm just going to shoot at that orange plate down there and we'll see what we got man that is right at 1300 feet per second It's a thumper though, I felt it. Um, I think we'll load up some of them and try them for for uh, accuracy at 100 yards because everything's right with it. It's 1,300 feet a second. It's a bigger bullet, 25 yards. It looks like it hit about where I was aiming on that plate. Uh, so looks like we're heading the right way. Let's see what the brass looks like. Well, it's pretty windy. I don't know how much uh, we're going to get away with here. And there's a squirrel there. And there's one there where that flag is. And then there's one down there by the truck where that flag is. And then behind the truck you can see my flags. We're going to get these guys out of the traps. So, anyway, so there's a handful and a half of squirrels from this little section. I just move these sections around, you know, and, and hit each town at a time. Usually there, there's just a little town of them here and a town of them there. And, uh, you, you know, some towns, I might set as much as 30 or 40 traps in one town. This one here, I'll probably be able to clean it up with somewhere between 12 and 20. So, so I went ahead and chambered it, and I'm kind of sorry I didn't film that for you, but I got to tell you, getting this perfect, I had to keep my mind on this and not on the camera and, and all that. So I didn't have somebody to help me film it. But anyway, I've got it. I've got the thing chambered to the... Uh, 5090 cartridge it fits in perfectly I've got the extractor cut I cut the extractor you have to cut a vertical groove and then a place for the extractor to go in so it can catch the end of the end of the deal I cut that and on these on this one I've gotten into the habit of putting a set screw down in the bottom so you put your barrel tight and I put a uh, stainless steel set screw and it's underneath here and it uh, tightens up and there's a little divot in the barrel and it's kind of double double protection of that so that barrel won't move when you shoot it when you shoot a rifle if it's got right-handed rifling it means it twists this way well when it when the bullet is twisting this way going down the barrel it is actually pushing against the barrel in a clockwise position which actually tightens it into the deal. That's why after a long time they're really tight to get one apart after you've been shooting it a while because every time you shoot it the barrel has to turn, the, the bullet turns to the right in the barrel, well, it has to push against the barrel to make that turn in the rifling and that actually pushes the barrel the opposite direction on the clock. So that'll just keep that baby nice and tight okay so when we last talked way back <clears throat> I had the metal complete and I was getting to order some wood and unfortunately I broke <laughs> a leaf spring on that truck sliding around remember how I said how slippery it was yeah 
broke a leaf spring <clears throat> and that set me back about 500 bucks for a new set of leaf springs. Really happy I did it though because they were sagging pretty good. Anyway, so I got a little bit above board, got a piece of wood, and the only thing left I have to do is uh, there's some wood underneath the lock that's rubbing against the lock parts and that has to be taken out and cleaned out a little. <clears throat> and I have to put my I have to put my block on the barrel and I'll dovetail that, put a block on there. And I have to put that so that the see that block also supports the lever spring. And I I'm starting with a piece of wood that already has the holes made on it and actually has some really nice checkering on it. So I have to put this piece on the barrel so that the spring will reach in far enough and the threaded part in the back here will be back far enough to catch this hole that's already there. So it's going to be kind of a little bit of a pain. <clears throat> um, I have a sight coming for it. I have a barrel ladder sight. I'm not building this one for long range targets so I I won't have a uh, tang in the back although I do have a tang sight but I won't have a tang on it it'll just have a barrel ladder, ladder sight and then it'll have a blade in the front it's going to be it's a it's a hunting gun it's not a target gun so that's where we are there we're going to take it up from there and finish the wood and uh, you guys can be a part of that when you're drinking your coffee in the morning um, Thanks for putting up with me. I've gotten a lot of very nice comments from you folks hoping that I was in good health and all, which I am. And uh, other than I had to go to YouTube jail for a while, apparently uh, they don't like uh, making and casting lead bullets. <laughs> so, <laughs> and what's funny is they, they dinged me. I'd made the thing three or four years ago, or three years ago anyway. So I guess it finally caught up, my past caught up with me, and they threw me in prison. So I just got out, and I'm ready to make more videos. Commie bastards. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> that's all I got today. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, you guys have a great day. Stay healthy, safe, and I will talk to you next time.